Lesson 17. Phrases and Clauses. Phrase. A phrase is a group of words that does not contain a subject and a verb and does not make complete sense on its own. Example, he came to visit me last evening. The part of the sentence to visit me last evening is a phrase because there is no subject in it linked to a verb. Here is another example, she left without saying goodbye. The part of the sentence, without saying goodbye is a phrase. Noun phrases, adjective phrases and adverb phrases sometimes instead of using a noun, we use a phrase in its place. Noun phrase, a phrase that can replace a noun, is called a noun phrase. Example, she wants her breakfast now. Noun. She wants to have her breakfast now. Noun phrase. Adjective phrase. A phrase that acts like an adjective in a sentence is called an adjective phrase. Example, this is a bronze statue. Adjective. This is a statue made of bronze. Adjective phrase. Adverb phrases. A phrase that acts like an adverb in a sentence is called an adverb phrase. Example, I found the book here. Adverb. I found the book in this place. Adverb phrase. Clause. A clause is a group of words that contains a finite verb and forms part of a sentence. Clauses can be independent or dependent. A subordinate or dependent clause cannot stand alone independently, it must be linked to the main clause to express its full meaning. Subordinate, dependent clauses are part of complex sentences. A complex sentence contains at least two finite verbs. It has as many clauses as finite verbs. There is only one independent clause in a complex sentence. The word or words that join a subordinate, dependent clause with the independent clause called subordinating conjunctions. Kinds of subordinate clauses 1. Noun clauses 2. Adjectives clauses. 3. Adverb clauses. 1. Noun clauses. A clause which does the work of a noun is a noun clause. Only a noun or a word or group of words that does the work of a noun can the subject or a verb. Remember that a noun can be the object of a preposition also. Example, A. Rohit has informed me that our team has won the tournament. B. That dolphins are extremely intelligent is a well-known fact. In both the sentences, the italicized words are subordinate, dependent, clauses and they function as nouns in sentence. A. The noun clause occupies the position of the object. Sentence. B. The noun clause occupies the position of the subject. 2. Adjectives clauses, a clause which does the work of an adjective is an adjective clause. Example, the boy, who had rescued the child from the fire, was rewarded for his bravery. In sentence the main clause is the boy was rewarded for his bravery, and who had rescued the child from the fire is a subordinate clause, for it does not make, complete by itself. 3. Adverb clauses. A clause which does the work of an adverb is an adverb clause. Example, the ring was found where the thief had hidden the stolen jewelry. In sentence where the thief had hidden the stolen jewelry is a clause. Subject, the, thief predicate, where, had hidden the stolen jewelry, it, however, does not make complete sense by itself. So, it is a subordinate clause. Since it tells us where the ring was found, main clause, it is a subordinate adverb clause of place. a. Read the four sentences given above once again and identify the subject and the verb in each case, fill in the table. She is playing. Answer. Subject. She. Verb. Is playing. You are wonderful. Answer. Subject. You. Verb. Are.
Where are my shoes? Answer. Subject. My. Verb. Are. He came to visit me last evening. Answer. Subject. He. Verb. Came. B. Read the following and write P, C or S against phrases, clauses and sentences respectively. 1. A truly amazing performance. Answer. P. 2. I forgot all about it. Answer. S. 3. While she was cleaning the dressing table. Answer. C. 4. Have you ever seen a rhino? Answer. S. 5. Because you never told us about it. Answer. C. 6. A. New day. A new beginning. Answer. P. 7. As he walked along the road leading to the village. Answer. C. 8. What a pleasant surprise. Answer. P. 9. Although they said they could not hear the noise. Answer. C. 10. Several sheets of paper on the table. Answer. P. C. Read each of these sentences and identify the independent dependent clause. One has been done as an example. 1. It was a hot day, so the children played indoors. Answer. It was a hot day. Dependent, so the children played indoors. 2. Everyone clapped when the dance performance was over. Answer. Independent, everyone clapped. Dependent, when the dance performance was over. 3. If you talk so loudly, the child will wake up. Answer. Independent, the child will wake up. Dependent, if you talk so loudly. 4. Switch off the lights before you leave the classroom. Answer. Independent, switch off lights. Dependent, before you leave the room. 5. I knew that she was very tired. Answer. Independent, I knew. Dependent, that she was very tired. 6. We can enter only when the chief guest is seated. Answer. Independent, we can enter. Dependent, only when the chief guest is seated. 7. You can participate because you are already 12 years old. Answer. Independent, you can participate. Dependent, because you are 12 years old. 8. She is coming home early because she is hungry. Answer. Independent, she is coming home early. Dependent, because she is hungry. 9. He can complete this work when he goes home. Answer. Independent, he can complete this work. Dependent, when he goes home. 10. Please collect the books when the bell rings. Answer. Independent, please collect the books. Dependent, when the bell rings.